I would like to now, drum roll collective please, introduce team one, the Home Insurance Risk Reduction Options team. Please help me welcome with a huge round of virtual and in-person applause, Lillian Norris, Alexandra Gunn and Natalie Oliver. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lillian, and I'm here with Alexandra and Natalie, and we're Team Hero, Home Insurance Risk Reduction Options. Hero. While acknowledging that there's a wide reach of insurance products in the market, our idea is specifically aimed at home insurance in Australia. This makes up 22% of the insurance market. Today, we're here to tell you how our idea can increase disaster resilience and restore trust to the insurance sector, benefiting both homeowners and insurers. The insurance sector plays an integral role in disaster resilience and disaster risk reduction strategies. From UN level strategies like the Sendai framework through to local level strategies like homeowners and council level strategies, the insurance sector is present. In Australia, it's widely expected that we privately insure our assets. Can I see a raise of hands? How many people in the room have home insurance? Almost everyone. Yeah, so we're talking to you. It's natural in this period of increased climatic and economic uncertainty that we should want to protect ourselves and feel secure in our homes. The insurance sector does this by encouraging those at risk to invest in loss reduction measures and by providing um, financial assistance after disaster events. However, there are way, problems in the way the insurance sector is currently operating. As I'm sure everyone in this room is aware, we are experiencing more frequent and more intense disaster events. As you can see on the left, this means the insurance sector is actually losing money on home insurance policies in recent years. Because, as you can see on the right, extreme weather events are costing more and more each year. In fact, insurers have lost $4 for every $100 paid by their customers over the past three years. This is a lose-lose situation, leading to a hard insurance market and more expensive premiums for customers. Research shows Australians are voting with their wallet and deliberately underinsuring their properties. 80% of homeowners in Australia are predicted to be underinsured and 11% of households do not have any form of home or property insurance. This growing uninsurance and underinsurance trend signifies lower levels of trust in the industry. Formal complaints about the insurance sector have been rapidly increasing with a 50% rise in the last period. The HERO team have spoken with a number of homeowners in both Lismore and Brisbane and they've shared their experiences with the home insurance sector. The residents we spoke to felt disempowered by their experience after the 2022 floods and as a result had lost trust in the sector. An East Lismore resident we spoke to expressed that she felt insurance was a scam after her experience. <coughs> A key reason being she was not actually aware of what she was covered for in her policy. Similar experiences were in Brisbane where a number of people did not realise they were not covered for flooding. A Woodburn resident commented on the unfair power dynamic that they had experienced between their insurer and themselves. Another Lismore resident we spoke to was confused why their premium had gone up and was frustrated with the lack of transparency provided by their insurer. Trust is hard earned, easily lost and difficult to re-establish. The insurance sector is well placed to foster safe, sustainable and resilient development. The sector has an opportunity now to reimagine how it can provide approachable and actionable home insurance options right from the point of sale. How do we ensure greater risk transparency and help insurers solve this problem of trust? We bring you Hero. Oh dear, these storms are becoming more frequent and seem much worse than I remember back in the day. I think it's time I investigated my home insurance. I can't even remember what I'm covered for anymore. 
Why is this costing so much? I just want to talk to someone about reducing my premium. Why won't anyone talk to me? Oh, I'm so sick of this cold white music. Sick of this cold white music. I'm on my way. Hi there, I'm Superhero, here to show you how you can reduce your premium by implementing risk reduction options for your home. Amazing, exactly what I've been looking for. Please show me how. Let's walk through the process. The process of applying for home insurance quotes will remain the same. All you need to do is answer questions about your property. The information provided in the quote form will feed into the Home Insurance Risk Reduction Options, HERO, to provide personalised information based on your home. The page will show what the priority hazards are for your property and clear information on what hazards your insurance will cover you for. A number of risk reduction options will be presented, which show you exactly how much you can save on your premium by implementing the option. There is also an AI chatbot, which can help you answer questions such as, how much might this cost for my home? Or, are there any builders near me who could do this for me? Once you've selected any risk reduction options, you simply complete your quote and organize for the works to be completed. Hello. I'd like to organise a quote for construction works to be done to my house. Let's get to work installing shutters on these windows. All done with the work? Great choice with the window shutters. They will help keep your house safe in severe storm season. Thank you so much. You've done a great job. Once the options have been implemented in your home, you are able to book a virtual inspection with the insurer and you will then receive the savings which were confirmed when you first completed your quote online. Hello. I'll show you the works via video call to verify that they have been completed. Wonderful. I can see the window shutters have been installed. I will mark this as completed and apply the previously advised $150 annual savings to your insurance premiums. Fantastic. Thank you. The great thing about this is that it's available for anyone across Australia and can be applied to any hazards applicable to your own home. Thank you, Hero. That really helped me understand how the things I can do with my own home can help reduce my risk to hazards, whilst also saving me money on my insurance premium for years to come. So glad you were able to show me this wonderful tool. Back to the hero team in Perth. Thanks, superhero. <laughs> hero provides new innovations to the insurance customer experience, such as transparency, which no insurer has provided before. Homeowners can choose from a variety of risk reduction options based on their priority hazards for their home. Hero also provides transparency on what hazards their insurance covers them for in language which is easy to understand and doesn't require the homeowner to download the PDS and interpret jargon. The process is simple and locks in a confirmed saving on the premium before implementation of the risk reduction options. This provides greater transparency of savings without the homeowner needing to negotiate with the insurer directly. An AI chat box also provides a tool for users to ask questions, including who they can reach out to for quotes and how cost effective it might be to implement any of the risk reduction options. Hero also offers a great opportunity for collaboration with the products that already exist in the industry. We don't want to repeat the work that has already been done in this space and the intent of Hero is to work with these partners to integrate their products directly into the insurer's quote platforms. The credibility of Hero can also be proven through the success of these existing products with the opportunity to value add through increased risk transparency and a user friendly process. Research and information gained through these existing tools, including both industry and government programs, can benefit HERO as they are tried and tested methods of increasing resilience at the household level. There are a number of resilient design frameworks available to inform HERO's risk reduction options, and further research is currently taking place to evaluate programs such as the Queensland Homes Resilient Fund. HERO is impactful and it's clear that action needs to happen now. You can see on these maps from the Climate Council that the number of properties at medium to high risk to hazards increases from 2030 to 2100. Our risk continues to increase as a result of climate change, population growth, an aging population, and the vulnerability of our existing building stock. It is key that we address this today and work towards reducing our risk in the future. The HERO team also had the opportunity to engage with the insurance sector and homeowners 
to understand if HERO is something that they would like to see implemented with their insurer. One insurance sector employee acknowledged the process insurers have made so far towards improving transparency and stated that HERO is something that insurers need to get to. A Lismore resident also agreed that they would like to make changes to their home to be more resilient, however, they would need encouragement. This encouragement could be through the direct reductions in premiums offered by HERO. Implementing HERO is affordable and utilises existing peril data from insurers. Partnering with organisations and researchers such as the Cyclone Testing Station at James Cook University will assist in understanding how to price the disaster of the risk reduction options which HERO offers. There are also opportunities to build trust with customers by offering nominal premium reductions for smaller risk reduction options. For example, raising the electricals on one floor of the house might not result in a, in a real cost reduction when it comes to pricing perils. However, a small saving, such as $50, shows the customers that the insurer cares about reducing risk to their property, no matter how small. HERO is adaptable, and with approximately 13.1 million home insurance policies offers the opportunity to reach communities across the country. It is intended that HERO is implemented into insurers existing quote platforms and is therefore accessible to all Australians seeking home insurance. By providing a number of risk reduction options to the homeowner, we are also able to be scalable to all kinds of disasters, empowering the homeowner to choose options to suit different budgets and priorities. It is intended that HERO provide an all hazards for all Australians solution. To ensure successful implementation of HERO, we have developed a plan that considers both the users and the insurers. The first phase focuses on research to understand existing products in the market and how users understand risk information. This ensures the final product is easily understood and offers opportunities to build partnerships with stakeholders to move forward into phase two. The second phase aims to engage directly with the insurance sector to understand their existing barriers to implementation and collaboratively work together on solutions for final implementation with our industry partners in phase three. During this final stage, it will be incredibly important to ensure there are strong connections with both the government and the research sectors to ensure a successful implementation. So to summarise, what are the benefits of HERO and how does this lead to increased trust? For insurers, the benefits really align to building a strong relationship with their customers and therefore gaining their trust. With increased trust, an insurer will be able to maintain their existing customers while also attaining new customers, whether they are new to insurance altogether or they are coming across from another insurer. An increased customer base provides greater revenue, which can aid in the insurance sector returning to a soft market with increased premiums, oh, sorry, increased competition and reduced premiums. <laughs> Those insurers who do offer resilience measures such as HERO are likely to attract more customers and build a positive reputation within the market. And of course, with increased resilience comes lower recovery cost and reduced payouts for insurers. For homeowners, the benefits are great. Reducing insurance premiums aids in improving insurance affordability and the problem of underinsurance. Risk transparency ensures customers are aware of their coverage and can prioritise risk reduction options for their home. The clarity of this information builds trust with the insurer and homeowners can feel more comfortable that they will have their claims accepted when needed. This has flow on benefits such as improved mental wellbeing through recovery, reducing stress through the claims process. Increased resilience at the household level also increases the safety for the homeowner and results in reduced recovery costs. This can include direct costs such as damage to the home and also indirect costs such as temporary housing, for example. A more resilient home provides confidence to the homeowner that they will be able to recover quicker. We're very aware that there's lots of expertise in the room here today and many different personal stories with disasters and with your own home insurance as well. If you'd like to get in touch with us, I would love to chat after the presentation, or you can reach us through the, our website, um, which you can access on the QR code on the flyers that were on your seats today as well. So let's chat about making HERO a reality. Thank you.